Hey guys, Jeremy with Catching IQ. In today's video, we're gonna go over one of my favorite tips for helping with lateral blocks. Lateral blocks can be one of our tougher blocks because we've gotta move a little bit out of position and get our body squared up to the baseball and keep it in front. This one tip is really gonna help you with your lateral blocks and getting yourself into a better position to control the ball and control the run game. So guys, the tip I'm gonna share with you today is something that I actually didn't even do in high school or in college. It's something that I learned afterwards. There's a lot of things that I used to do back in high school and college that weren't that good, but for some reason I did them because I just didn't know any better. And this is one of them. You can see my stance wasn't very good and so were some of the ideas that I had about blocking, receiving, and throwing. So if you guys are new to the channel, click one of these videos up here and keep checking out some of the videos we have on here so you don't look how I did back when I was in high school. Now to go into the blocking tip here, what I wanna talk about is gonna really help you with your lateral blocks and controlling the ball. Now what I heard back when I was in high school was that we wanna approach our lateral blocks in a V shape. So I always like to use the PVC pipe with our catchers here and kind of give some sort of like a visual angle of what we don't want to do and what we do want to do. So what I was always taught was that we want to go in like a V angle on our lateral blocks like this. Okay, and I want to try to block the ball back to home plate. Now there's a couple problems with that though is that this sharp angle, what it does is it makes me move forward towards the ball. Now, if I'm moving forward towards the ball, I'm actually gonna have less time to get down. Now, if you've ever caught anybody that throws high velocity, you know you don't have much time to get down. Ain't nobody got time for that. Now, the other issue that this presents is the body angle that I'm approaching the ball with. Now, because I have such a sharp angle right here, when the ball hits me, the likelihood that it goes this way is much greater. So I'm blocking it back to home plate but because of the angle that I'm at, what happens more often than not is this ball shoots more out to the side of me than it does out in front of me. Now the problem, especially going to the right side with this block is that if I block this ball this way, I'm making it a longer route for me to retrieve the ball and make my throw. So optimally, what my goal should be if I take us back here, we wanna work more in a U-shaped position going side to side. So yes, we still want angle. We still want angle because that's gonna help us as we're moving to the side, control the ball back in front. But we don't wanna have too much angle. So the right amount of angle is about kind of like a, a, the bottom of a U, the U-shape right here. So what that's gonna look like here is I'm still gonna move out to the side, okay? And you can see my right knee slightly in front of my left but it's not so much that I'm tilted back in towards home plate, okay? I still got a little angle, but now what's gonna happen when the ball hits me is my chest is squared up to the ball, so I'm gonna have more surface area for the ball to hit me. The other thing that's gonna be nice is that when the ball does hit me, I'm gonna block it in front of me. So it's gonna make it 10 times easier to recover the ball because all I have to do is hop up and recover this ball out in front. So when we're approaching our lateral blocks, what we wanna do is don't go at such a sharp angle, okay? Make sure that our angle's more out wide and that we're keeping our shoulders square to the ball and blocking it in front, not back to home plate. Now, I'm sure a lot of us have always heard block the ball back to home plate and that's something that even I did in high school and college. And as I learned not to block this back to home plate, but to block it in front of me, I controlled the ball a lot better and I was able to keep runners from advancing because the ball was kept close to me and not moving away from me. So I wanna add kind of a bonus tip in here for you guys, because this is something that I talk a lot with our catchers on, and that's how we wanna move two different blocks. So what I like to teach our catchers, if I turn sideways right here, is I always move, I move up and down and side to side, but never forward and not jumping backwards, okay? And those were kind of two things that I was always taught. We either move forward or backwards. But what I like to teach is that we move up and down and side to side. So there's not gaining distance and there's not losing distance. Essentially, what our goal becomes with blocking is it becomes about catching the ball with our belly button. And we're gonna find ourselves in many different positions to accomplish that goal. There's two places that we wanna block the ball with, and that's the pocket of our glove and our belly button. If we can get our body into a position where the ball hits either the pocket of my glove or my belly button, 
It might look like this, like the perfect blocking position. It might look like a kickstand block. It might look like we're halfway into a block and it hits my belly button. There's gonna be a lot of different positions we put our body in to accomplish the goal. So guys, I hope you find these couple of tips on blocking helpful and hopefully it clears up some of the misconceptions about our lateral blocks and puts you guys in a better position to block the baseball and control it. Ultimately, the goal of blocking is not to just get in the way of the ball, it's to control the ball. And to control the ball, we gotta get our body into positions that are sometimes not the perfect positions, but they're the positions that are gonna help us control the baseball. And if I control the baseball, I control the runners. And controlling runners is one of the main things that we need to be able to do as catchers. So if you guys haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, like this video, and share it around. Really appreciate you guys watching, and we'll catch you next time.